Can you be a car designer? Um, I don't think so. It's really... no. Guys, welcome to first episode of Car Design Questions. Uh, I just wanted to create a series that I will answer your questions. And one of the most common questions is, can I be a car designer? I said no at the beginning, because if you will be affected by that answer and if you will give up, yeah, the answer is no. Because you will hear lots of negative things, you will hear lots of disappointing answers, you will hear lots of no, like lots of them. And if you will give up, guess what? Unfortunately, you cannot succeed it. But, but I consider you as one of the potential ones because you're still watching this video. It means you have this courage, this soul, this passion to continue to fight for it, to do your best for it. But the answer of this question is really depends on you. It depends on where are you now? What are you doing now? What's your level? What do you do now? I decided to separate it into three levels. The first one is you are a student on high school or you do it just for hobby or it was your dream but you did some other things like you are an engineer now or you study engineering. This is the first category, which it's more like you didn't step into design field yet. The second category is you are a design student. It can be a graphic design student, product design student, or even car design student. And the third one is the closest one to be a car designer. You are in the internship or you are accepted to internship or you just finished your internship. Maybe you have a job interview in this kind of category. In this video, I want to cover all these three categories. Let's start with the first one. Let's say now you are between 15 or 18, 20, whatever, and you don't know what to study in university to be a car designer. The answer is study product design or car design depends on your country and depends on your possibilities. But studying something related to design is a must, I can say. Most companies require a degree on design fields right now. And even before starting to university, I highly recommend you to sketch and learn and follow what's going on in the world of car design. There are several websites that I will uh, leave the links below that you can check to follow what's going on in car design world because it's really important. And you can also follow lots of professional car designers on Instagram and you can even ask them questions. And they, are, they might be busy, but still some of them will answer for sure. If it's too late for you to study design starting from zero to the college or university, uh, let's say you studied engineering or any other field, you already graduated or you are still studying something else. Uh, you can still be a car designer. I have friends who have engineering background and then they improve themselves and there are other possibilities that you can still get the education. Uh, you can apply for masters in car design, but to be accepted, you really need a good portfolio because you are coming from another field. You need to prove that you are able to handle the master's course. Or there are some one-year course like pre-master programs in SPD in Italy for example they have one-year course program that you can apply whatever is your background and you can get this one-year course to learn the basics of car design and then if you are good enough if you can prove that you can get into master's course and at the end you will have a degree of car design masters but this degree doesn't mean that you will get a job immediately after you finish your masters because I can say only 10 to 20 percent of people who finished car design can find a job that they want. There are other possibilities like being a 3D modeler or clay modeler while still being involved in design process of the cars but we will talk about this in another video. And if you ask me it is possible to get a car design job with no degree on design fields it is really difficult you need to be really impressive but at the end I think it depends on your portfolio again I mean imagine in car design studio the people are super amazed by your work your skills if you are crazy good I think you have a possibility but many big companies require as a standard some kind of uh, design degree but still you need to do the research and you need to contact these people but if you are average good and if you don't have a degree it's really difficult I can say and let's talk about the second category now you are a student now you made it, you are on one year course or you are on masters or you are on bachelor, product design, car design, doesn't matter, you are a student and trust me, it's really fun. I mean, you will feel lots of pressure, uh, you will see your competitors, you will see the other students, other crazy good guys, super talented dudes, but if you are lucky enough to have a friend which is more talented than you, which is better than you on design, I think it's really lucky situation. For example, during my master's on car design in Italy, I had a friend whose name is Alexander Krupa. He was the best in our class. This guy had like a great sense of proportion, great sense of 
surfacing like the design, the creativity, like finding ideas and putting them on paper and then putting them on Photoshop and the 3D and the collaboration with his team and everything. He was a cool guy and he was really good. Of course, I learned a lot from my professors and tutors, but I really learned a lot also from him. So I can suggest you that be open to learn from your friends directly also because everyone has something better than each other and even if you feel you are the best don't get trapped by your ego and be open to learn from others definitely or don't get lost in the competition like you know sneaky people like looking at what others do and all the time comparing themselves with others yeah of course there's a big high competition on this field but while competing also learn from them being a student is super fun you are not responsible for high budget projects you know you can do mistakes you can experiment you can try new things rather than following others footsteps trying new things and putting your personality into your projects your designs it's, it's really important and of course communicate with others what i mean by others is your tutors or your classmates or students from other schools and you can even find many people on internet that are super successful and they can give you advice and most of the people are busy but try to communicate so be hungry for learning and just be obsessed to learn some new skills new stuff this might put you a step further than your competitors for example about 3d software blender um, just two three years ago not many people were using it it was more like an experimental tool that was not even much popular in car design but in just very short amount of time just in two years I see now many car designers using Blender or they started first on their free time at home just using that software and now it's getting more and more popular and, and even big companies start to take it more serious and it's kind of part of the workflow now. I will talk about Blender in another video more detailed because it's not the point of this video. What I'm trying to say is just be open-minded and observe the new stuff, observe what's going on in the car design world. And the third category is a little bit stressed. Let's say you are already an intern in a car design studio or you have an interview to have an internship or have a job and you are so stressed and you have the question in your mind that will it work? Will you be a car designer or will you get another no? if it's not your first one. So you did everything, you did your best, you improved yourself and you just stopped. Now you have your portfolio, you finish your portfolio and you are waiting the results. Well, don't, because waiting will not give you much opportunity. You still need to push yourself. You should still improve your skills and invest on yourself. Also, you need to be really open to talk with new people. You need to fight for getting an interview. The competition is really high. There are hundreds of talented people. I'm not talking about there are hundreds of people who just sketch cars. There are talented guys who are looking for the job, who are just fighting for it. You need to be strong mentally and you need to be strong with your skills to be able to get into this competition. So if you have an email address list, you should send your portfolio with a personal message by saying why do you want to work in that company specifically. It should be personal and you should explain yourself. You should show your passion and you should send your good quality portfolio to them to get a chance to have a review or an interview. And if you don't have an email list or even if you have and if you already sent, still just don't stop. You can find lots of designers, hundreds of designers on LinkedIn and also on Instagram. I believe the advantage of social media because today, I mean, everyone is using it somehow. If you are watching this video, you are in social media. Why don't you use it as a portfolio? Put your great work out there and ask people about their comments. Don't be like a passive social media user. On social media, you can contact lots of designers if you are, let's say, respectful enough. Because I see many young guys just sending random messages like a link to their portfolio and not even a description, not even asking a question. And this probably doesn't work much because the time is the most valuable thing and car designers are really busy. If you want to get their time a little bit, you need to be more personal. You need to say, why do you want the feedback from them? And don't be shy about that. Just be brave to send your work in the right way, as I said. But it's also very risky to be shy and just be closed and, and waiting for someone to find you. Really, almost nobody is looking out there to find a designer. There are lots of them and you need to be the one to show them if they need you. For example, I wrote to many designers when I was a student or when I was even intern to get feedback all the time to improve myself in a better way. And also for finding internship. Like I remember in Turkey, I was in university studying product design and there's Ford Design Studio in Turkey and it was the place that I wanted to do my internship. And rather than just going through the normal application process, I sent a message 
to team leader designer Mark Tikin, uh, and he didn't even reply me at the beginning. And yeah, it's okay because he's busy and probably lots of students write him this kind of messages. And as I said at the beginning of this video, you will hear lots of no or you will not even hear an answer. And I didn't stop. I wrote him again and again. I sent him my sketches and at the end he said yes, he wants me as an intern in the Ford Design Studio. And it happened on Facebook because I was active. I was pushing for it. I was fighting for it. If I just did my portfolio and waiting for someone to find me, probably it wouldn't work that way. So guys, as you see, there's no answer to this question like, can you be a car designer? It's up to you. It's up to what you do. It's also affected by current situation in the world, like all this pandemic and stuff. But also like 10 years ago, it was different. 20 years ago, it was different. And in a couple of years, it will be different again. So we cannot know. No one can answer that question. So don't wait for the opportunity to come to your door and say, hey, we want you as a car designer. It's really rare. I mean, if you are really good, it is possible. If you are really good and if you are active on social media and if a design manager or another designer sees your work and really likes that and then you start the communication and blah, 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 this process. And it is possible. I heard this kind of stories. I saw this kind of things happening. It's, it is possible. But also the risk of social media is don't think that flashy colors and everything, all these nice, super cool sketches are the way to get into design studio. It's not like that. It's still not your portfolio. Even if you have cool stuff, it's good to get attention, maybe start a conversation. But at the end on your portfolio, you should show many things like your approach to design, your philosophy, your ideation, your creativity, the way you communicate with people through your sketches and through language through talking with them. For example, Boost Folio on Instagram. I remember on one of his posts, uh, he says the difference of portfolio and an interview. I will leave the link below to his page as well. And also I want to make another video covers all these little parts differently, like what is portfolio, how to do portfolio. And if you are new to my channel, uh, you can consider to subscribe me because I share this kind of experience and knowledge from my side as a professional car designer. And if you like this video, please uh, do it also on the like button because it really motivates me and supports me. And seeing that interaction makes me do new videos for you. And as always, if you have more questions, please write it down on the comments. And if you watch this video until here, and if you are still watching me, it shows that you had the motivation and the passion and this obsession to be a car designer and it's a good important step. So don't give up and improve yourself. You can always contact me on Instagram. I try to answer all the messages there. So hope to see you there and also on the next video. By the way, guys, currently I'm in Turkey. I'm waiting for my flight to go back to Austria and it's super hot here. It's, it's 30 degrees or something right now and ah, it's hot. And how is the weather there? I hope I hope you are doing well.